Greetings fellow survivors and welcome to the Swedish survival channel. Today we are going to talk about the knife that makes every other knife look like a piece of metal scrap. Of course, I am speaking of the Mora knife. The full name of the knife I am reviewing is the Mora Companion knife. This is the stainless version of it, it's also a carbon steel version that uh, is a bit heavier and a bit cheaper. Let us start with the general details of the knife. It weighs about 180 grams without a sheath and the total weight goes in 188 grams. The total thickness of the blade is 2.5 millimeters and is made out of stainless steel, though not specified what type. The blade length is 104 millimeters and the total length of the knife is 219 millimeters, meaning the handle is 115 millimeters. The handle is made out of TPE rubber and a type of plastic polymer. Again, it isn't specified what type of plastic polymer, but it obviously is some type of hard plastic. The price on the official Mora knife site is 119 crowns or 11.3 euros. The problem with setting a price on the Mora knife is that there is a lot of retailers that sell the Mora knife, so it is usually comes off as a little bit more expensive than it actually is. Not by much, but still. So, what do I think of the Mora Companion knife? Well, the first thing that I noticed was the weight. I think the weight is a little bit too light and it doesn't feel like a proper knife. Don't get me wrong here. It is still a quality knife in most regards, but I think the weight makes it a little, it feels a little bit cheap. Especially for me that downgraded from a heavy military style Tantone knife to the Companion knife. I think the Mora Companion is a great start to knife, and might be fine for lighter bushcraft tasks like cutting paracord or carving, but you really can't expect to chop down big chunks of wood with this knife, which you shouldn't be doing anyway, you know. That's what you have an axe or a saw for. The overall quality of the knife I'm really happy with. I did get a small deformation on the blade when a friend threw it into a stone. Since most people don't throw their knives into rocks, I think the more race a really quality knife for the price that it comes with. One thing that you might want to notice or pay attention to when buying a more knife, or whatever knife for that matter, is that in relatively high grass you can easily lose your knife. Uh, this has happened to me a number of times, so you might want to tie a colorful paracord rope to your knife or something similar. This is also a great way to not lose your knife in the snow, which also has happened to me a number of times. To recap and summarize, the Mora Companion knife is pure Swedish engineering. It's perfect knife for both beginners and professionals, though not be able to handle harder jobs. It's a little bit light regarding weight according to me, but it's perfect for a light backpacking experience. This was my review of the Mora knife. I hope you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.